Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, May 15th, and it's a great day to be great. So we're going to begin it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, in union with the Holy Sacrifice and the Mass throughout the world. In reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all our associates, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We continue to pray for all those on our prayer sick list and all those in need of our prayers today. We, of course, continue to keep in our prayers the doctors, nurses, technicians, clinicians, pharmacists, all those in the healthcare field, our healthcare officials, our government officials, our first responders, our teachers, our grocery workers, truck drivers, delivery workers, all those who are working to provide the essentials and keep us safe. We ask that their guardian angels be with them and our guardian angels be with us. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our honor pledge. As a St. Gregory Raid student, I will do my best to be the best. I will listen. I will follow directions. I will honor my work and the work of others. I will respect the rights of others. I can learn. I will learn. I will treat all that I meet with the kindness of Jesus. Okay, folks, it's Friday. Yay. That's awesome. So uh, you made it through another week. Just got to get a few things taken care of. I checked my email this morning and I saw all the reminders from your teacher's uh, that came through that said, hey, just don't forget about these couple things to get done today, and then you are free to go for the weekend. Um, and so my reminders for you all is I set up my cleaning products because it is going to be a cleaning weekend at the Trot House. Um, so make sure that you're helping out around the house, take care of those chores, um, put away the laundry, help put the laundry into the, uh, move it from the washer to the dryer, empty the dishwasher, that's like my worst job. Don't like it a lot, but Somebody's got to do it, and it doesn't always have to be mom or dad. So make sure that you are taking care of your chores, uh, dust your rooms, uh, pick up the toys, put them away, take care of your space, okay? Make sure you're putting stuff away in the bathroom too, right? Put your toothbrush where it belongs, take care of your space. So this is your reminder. At the same time, it also reminds you that this weekend, tomorrow, Saturday, May 16th, from noon until 3, again, thank you to the Anatech family. They are doing the drive up, drop off food drive to benefit the St. Francis Center and Mercy Mission. Um, you just pull up by the church and uh, they'll be there to go ahead and grab those bags out of your car for you so you don't have to get out. Um, and uh, thank you again for your support. Cleaning products are always beneficial at those both of those places too. So if you, um, certainly whatever you have in the pantry that you're able to uh, provide to those organizations is fantastic. And then at the same time, don't forget, um, they even, uh, Sister Kinesa says that, th that even bottled water is fantastic. So if you have that and can donate that, again, 12 to 3 tomorrow, May 16th. Um, Ms. Pittman, uh, Ms. Floyd, Ms. Hudgens, uh, Monsignor Cellini and I celebrated the National Junior Honor Society uh, folks yesterday, and we did that live streaming through the church. Uh, we did re uh, reposted that on our Facebook page. Um, so if you missed the ceremony yesterday and you want to catch it, uh, thank you again to Mrs. Pittman for helping to organize that, um, and congratulations to our inductees. Uh, and I believe you all are in for a surprise today, so um, you might you might see this face live. Who knows? All right. Um, so again, congratulations to those folks. Uh, I think those are the major things that I want to say. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and announce uh, the birthdays. We don't seem to have any that are today or even match up with the 15th through the summer. So I'm going to call out this weekend's birthdays. So, on May 16th, happy birthday in the third grade to Emily. Uh, in June, June 16th, happy birthday down in the kindergarten to Augie. I've got July 16th, uh, up in the sixth grade, happy birthday 
to Ryan. And let's see, we also have a birthday on July 16th, uh, all the way down in uh, pre-K to Connor. And let's see, I've got May 17th, happy birthday to the twins. I've got Tossie and Leah. And then on July 17th, happy birthday in the first grade to Annie Rose. Happy birthday to you. Okay, Tossie, Leah, Amy Rose, uh, Emily, Augie, Ryan, and Connor. Of course, when we get back to school, we're going to hit you up with your birthday prizes. All right, folks, like I said, it's Friday. Get those things taken care of. Be done with it. Um, it's going to be a warm weekend, so um, get outside and, and run around maybe early before it gets too warm. Um, I did hear that some people, well, certainly if you have your own private pool, that's awesome, so you get to enjoy that. I did hear that some community pools are gonna start to work their way in getting open, so that's great. Remember, try and keep your social distance. I know, especially when you get up to like a pool or a beach or whatnot, and you see another kid that's your age, it's kind of hard to, you just wanna kind of gravitate towards them, so make sure that you're using your best judgment. Listen to mom and dad when you're out there, okay? Um, the other thing too is that, remember, Bishop has uh, opened up all the Catholic churches. Uh, we started at St. Gregory's with our daily masses this past Monday, May 11th, um, and just know that there are um, rules in place as far as how many people can let into the church. Remember, the bishop is still giving dispensation, so um, if you are not comfortable in attending mass just yet, that's okay. Um, you still have dispensation. Just join us live on www.sgg. Dot cc uh, and we got you covered um, anyhow so you all have a great weekend enjoy it get cleaning be good i'll see y'all soon god bless you